Beautiful. This shit ain't cheap. Ooh, that's nice. Bring it on, Rachel Gajewski. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Merle. Hey, I'm Rachel. Still eight feet apart. We sure are. So today we are going to make two different cheesecakes at two different price points. We're gonna be making one cheesecake that's $8 and one vegan cheesecake that's $48. And then our good friend Joyce is gonna tell us which cheesecake she thinks has the best value. So Merle and I are currently tied because I won two episodes and she won two episodes. So we have to break the tie and that's what we're doing today. Whoo, baby. <laughs> All right. Heads will be expensive and tails will be cheap. Oh my God. I'm doing the cheap one again. Oh! $8. I believe in you, I believe in me, and we gonna do this. We're doing it. All right, so we have $8 that we're working with for our cheesecake. So we're gonna make a peanut butter and jelly cheesecake. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nine inch springform pan and we're going to spray it with some nonstick spray. And I'm gonna take this piece of parchment paper that I've cut into a little circle that fits and I'm gonna place it inside. Next, we're gonna make our graham cracker crust. So we're gonna add, you guessed it, graham crackers to a food processor. Oh, whoopsies. Some sugar and finally some coconut oil. And it's gonna solidify similar to the way butter would. And now we're gonna blend her up. We wanna pulse this up until it achieves a sort of like a wet sand consistency. Now we are going to transfer our crust mixture to our springform pan. Finally, we're gonna take this handy dandy measuring cup and we're gonna just press down all the way around so that the crust is an even layer at the bottom. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 175 degrees Celsius for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so for our cheesecake filling, we're gonna do a silken tofu base. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own homemade oat milk. This is a cheaper option and it's really simple. It's just oats and water. We're going to blend this up for like one to two minutes until it's smooth. Next, we are going to add some peanut butter, some lemon juice, and vanilla. And then we're gonna blend it again for one to two more minutes. All right, looks nice and smooth. Now, finally, we're going to add in some organic sugar, some cornstarch, salt, and our silken tofu. Oof, that doesn't look pleasant, but it's gonna taste just great. And then we're going to do something a little different. Just kidding, we're gonna blend it again. Now I'm just gonna add this to my springform pan. Ooh, beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold up my aluminum foil all the way around the edge of the springform pan. So the aluminum is going to make sure that our cheesecake is sealed really tightly so none of the water from our water bath can get in. Okay, now I'm gonna just place my cheesecake into this big old pan and I'm gonna add some very hot water until it is about an inch and a half up the spring form pan all the way around. When we put it back in the oven is it's going to ensure that our cheesecake cooks evenly throughout and doesn't crack on top. We're just gonna put this back in the oven at the same temperature for about 55 to 60 minutes. Okay, so I took my cheesecake out of the oven and then I let it chill and now we are ready to decorate it. I've got some jam here that I heated up and I also heated up some peanut butter for about 20 to 30 seconds each. So I'm gonna spread my jam or jelly over the top so it's even. Not too shabby for $8, eh? It's already looking like a $108 cheesecake, if you ask me. All right, so now I'm going to take my peanut butter and I have it in a little plastic bag. Unfortunately, we are using a plastic bag, but hey, no one's perfect. I'm gonna just cut a little teeny tiny toothpick sized hole and then it'll turn into our own little piping bag. And now we're gonna go one way. It doesn't need to be perfect. And as soon as you care less, it comes out more pristine. Now we're gonna go back the other way, we're gonna do a little crisscross action. You know what? It's an artistic choice to make this look as if a eight-year-old did it because peanut butter and jelly is something I had around that age. Done! Actually, no, it looks pretty good. Damn. I'm feeling really good, in case you can't tell. I also drank a lot of black tea today, but I feel great. So bring it on, Rachel Gajewski! 
Okay, so I have a huge budget of $48. So we're gonna go all out and we're gonna make a tahini dark chocolate caramel cheesecake. And it's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna make this a little bit of a fancy crust. So we're gonna start with probably the most expensive nut in history, the macadamia nut. Its friend, the pine nut, could give it a run for its money. These things are basically like solid gold, they're so expensive. So I'm gonna add some macadamia nuts to our food processor. And then I'm just gonna blend these up until they form a crumble. Now, instead of like boring old graham crackers, we're gonna do some Biscoff cookies, which are those little cookies that they'll give you on the airplane. And I think this is just gonna go really nice with the whole like tahini flavor profile. Some organic sugar. Now I'm gonna add some sesame seeds to the crust since we're doing a tahini flavored cheesecake. This is just gonna tie it all together. And then finally, some coconut oil. Get on there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna transfer my crust into my springform pan, like so. And this is gonna be a nice, thick crust. Now I'm just gonna take my handy dandy measuring cup and use it to evenly spread out our crust into our pan. Okay, this looks great. So now I'm just gonna bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 degrees Celsius for eight to 10 minutes until it's a little golden brown. So now I'm gonna get started on the filling for the cheesecake. So I'm gonna add in some organic granulated sugar and we are just gonna let this caramelize over a low heat for about two to three minutes. And this is just gonna help add a depth of flavor to our cheesecake. And when it turns a nice amber golden color, we're going to remove it from the heat. So now I have some full fat coconut milk. Very slowly stir this in to the sugar. If your sugar kind of hardens up like that, it's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some brown sugar, some tahini, which is gonna give this such a nice subtle nutty flavor. And we're gonna do some maple syrup. And then I'm just gonna stir this all together and let it cool for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna blend up our filling. So I'm gonna start with some macadamia nuts. Then I'm gonna add in some cashews and then our cooled sugar mixture. Ooh, that's nice. Please do not let me spill on this brand new white shirt. I can practically hear my mom at home being like, don't wear your brand new white shirt. <laughs> some lemon juice, a tablespoon of miso, which is just gonna give it a nice little tang. Oh, that is so salty. Then I'm gonna add some cornstarch. And then we're gonna use a special ingredient, which is a fresh half of a vanilla bean pod. But this is like, we're really getting crazy fancy here because this shit ain't cheap. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend this all up for a couple minutes until it's smooth. I'm going to use some store-bought vegan cream cheese. I love the brand Kite Hill. It's the real deal. We're gonna use <laughs> three whole containers of it. That's gonna add up quickly. And we're just gonna whip our cream cheese. This is where an electric hand mixer would come in super handy. I don't have one, so we're gonna use some arm power here. Now I'm just gonna add in my blended mixture here, just a little bit at a time and slowly incorporate that into my vegan cream cheese. Okay, so I have my cooled crust here. And so I'm just gonna wrap this in aluminum foil, place my cheesecake pan inside of a large baking dish, and then I'm gonna add in my filling. Smooth her out. And now I'm gonna add in about an inch and a half of boiling water all the way around. So now I'm gonna go put this back in the oven at the same temperature and let it bake for about 55 to 60 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started on the chocolate ganache that's gonna go on top of our cheesecake. So first I'm gonna add some really nice and really fancy dark chocolate. And now I'm gonna add in some coconut milk and I'm just gonna give that a little stir. And now I'm just gonna microwave this for one to two minutes. Wow, like magic, it's microwaved. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract and mix that all up. 
And now I'm gonna make my caramel sauce. So for this fancy tahini infused caramel, we're gonna start with some brown sugar, some maple syrup, our tahini, a little bit of coconut oil, some coconut milk, salt, and just a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna stir this over medium low heat for about three to four minutes until it gets nice and glossy looking like this. And then we're gonna remove it from the heat and put it on the cake. And as you can see, my cake did get a little bit cracked here, but it's because I forgot to crack the oven door open after I turned the oven off, but it also doesn't matter because we're gonna be covering it anyway. And I'm just gonna spread this all over our cake. Ooh, baby. And now while the chocolate is still warm, we want to just dollop little quarter sizes of caramel onto our cake, like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a little um, chopstick here. And now while it's still warm, we just wanna create this like swirl effect with the chocolate. Okay, that looks kind of good, kind of fancy. And even if your swirls aren't absolutely perfect, it's okay because what really matters is how it tastes and I think it's beautiful. And now what we're gonna do for an extra fancy touch is I'm going to actually take some edible gold, which I've never used before, and just take little pieces here to put on my cake. Ooh, oh, this looks cool. Okay, I think we're good and she's beautiful and I can't wait for Joyce to try it. Okay, Joyce, so it is the moment of truth and you are going to taste test our two cheesecakes. You don't know who made which cheesecake, but go ahead and try the one on your left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something's a little bit off about the graham cracker crumb. What do you think the one you just ate is like made out of if it's there's no dairy in it? Well, my teeth is crunching some kind of like skin of a shell. I have no idea what that is. Maybe chick chia peas? Ch chicken peas? <laughs> I don't know, y'all really creative with this stuff. Does it taste like it's vegan? It has a hint of vegan flavoring, but good job. High class, very sweet. I like the chocolate. Really great cheesecake part, and the crust was creme de la creme. So we're gonna try this cheesecake. Some more peanut butter. Is peanut butter the main ingredient in the vegan cheesecake? Um, okay, is it like a PB&J? Cheesecake? Yeah, hit the nail on the head. Joyce knows what the hell she's doing. I'm from Freeport, New York. Mm -hmm. And the thing about cheesecake is this one got the consistency because cheesecake is a little bit grainy. But this cheesecake is as smooth as my ass on a Sunday morning. So, but the crust is 10 out of 10. So do you have any ideas of what that one's made out of? <laughs> Not chicken peas. Um, maybe <laughs> some kind of nut. You know, vegans love the nuts. <laughs> Almonds. Tofu. Yeah, I have no idea. Very smooth though. All right, so the one on your left that you tried first cost $48. And then the one on your right cost $8. So if you had to incorporate, you know, the flavor, the texture, the experience, the romance, the whole shebang with the price, which one is a better value? I'm gonna have to go with this one. Why y'all laughing? Why y'all keep me? Joyce, you, you said it out today. You said, I will not pick the one the Merle picked, and you didn't know which one was mine, and you did it. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I was like, Merle, there is no way she's not going to pick Every that time. peanut butter one. <laughs> There's no way. Hey, but she won the last two in a row, so now I won one again. So it's Rachel three, Merle two. For now. Man, $48 for cheesecake. Joyce is splashing the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Joyce picked my cheesecake, but we're gonna try them now because I saw that you wanted us to try on camera, so we're gonna give you the honest truth straight from the vegan's mouth. That's right. Here we go. Should we try okay. yours first since she tried yours first? Okay, let's try my first. It looks pretty decadent, Rachel, I can't lie. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Oh yeah. Damn. That was really good. You outdid yourself with this. And the tahini caramel, this tastes like a decadent cheesecake you get at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's try the other one. <laughs> okay. This one's a little jiggly fella. It's 
it's not that good. It tastes like tofu. It tastes just like tofu. I'm not gonna lie though, yours deserve to win. I'm like a very kind of like frugal person, I feel like, but I think I would have chosen mine too. So let us know in the comments below what you'd like us to make next. We listen. Yes, we do. And if you make any of these recipes or come up with your own new combination of these recipes, I mean, make this one first. Yeah, make the but, nicer one first. Yeah. <laughs>